Oh, good evening, everyone. Glad you joined me for a review of Ringo Starr's new album, What's My Name? And it's a very short album. It's barely 35 minutes long, so it's not going to take up much of your time. It'll a few times over before you're even done with it. But I've made some notes. I just hope I can read my scritchin. But boy, this is a good album. I, I could tell even with the little bit that I played in the car, just every one sounded like it was came on with a bang. So you're not going to get bored with this. But let's review it anyway for those of you who haven't heard it yet. Okay? So first song is Gotta Get Up to Get Down. Gotta get up to get down. Gotta get up to get down. Oh, this one's quite a thumper. It's got Joe Walsh all over it. It kind of reminds me of Rocky Mountain Way, but it's okay. It's, it's funky in places. Joe uh, does a little rap business, but nothing to worry about. It's, it's cool. It's good. I still like it. Let's move on to It's Not Love That You Want. It's not love. That you want, but it's love that you need. This is a nice little pop rocker. Ringo really impresses with his drumming on here, and is that Dave Stewart of the Eurythmics helping out here? Wow, impressive! Let's go on to Grow Old With Me. Grow old along with me. We get a little sentimental here. After all, they're redoing a John Lennon song. And Paul McCartney's on this song somewhere. He's playing the bass and he's got some background vocals someplace. It's hard to hear him, but I guess maybe the whole idea was not to overshadow Ringo. So, okay, that's cool, I guess. This would make a great song at weddings, wouldn't it? Next song up is a song called Magic. It's one of those things, it's magic. Here we have a nice piano driven tune with some great guitar work by Steve Lukather who helped out writing it. Kind of reminds me of Toto a little bit, but that's okay. It's good stuff. On we go to money. Now give me money. That's what I, want. I know I'm going against the grain here, but I actually like this because I liked the Flying Lizards version and this seems to be a cross in between the original version and the Flying Lizards even with the auto-tuned voice of Ringo so I don't mind it as much I guess I'm in the minority but I still like it hmm next Better Days Better Days about to come Better Days about to come Better Days old child are gonna blow your mind this is pretty good. Nothing really special. Just a nice little pop song. It's fine. It's good. No problem. On to Life is Good. Life is good. Life is good. This is a hummable little piece. I really like it. There's, it's challenging. It's got some nice progressions and, and changes in it. This could be a single. Yes, I think so. Next up, thank God for music. Thank God. Thank God for music. Wow, shades of Billy Joel. But that's not a bad thing. Just think of it as my life sung by Ringo. It's not a bad thing. It's pretty good. Next up, send love, spread peace. Send love. This is Ringo's obligatory love and peace song. Yeah, we know. But it's not that bad. It's, a, you know, not, not overly preachy, but musically, it's better than Paul McCartney's People Want Peace. So he's got McCartney beat here. Hmm. And finally, what's my name? This is a fine rocker. 
just perfect for audience participation. But why he didn't play it at his recent shows is a mystery. He should have, he could have, but didn't. Why? Oh well, the lyrics aren't included in this album, which is a bummer, but I can say this is a strong album. And if you and if you never even knew Ringo was the drummer, if you took the vocals away and just played the tracks with no singing on them, I'll bet none of you could imagine Ringo was the drummer. He's that good. And vocally, he's fine. Okay, he gets that auto-tune effect on money, but it's, it's to good use, I think. And the other thing is, I have a little bit of a beef with the way the song listings are, you know, the the order. If Money is the weakest one, and if What's My Name is supposed to be more like the single, couldn't they flip What's My Name to the top of the list and put Money at the bottom? Calico Silver would like it better that way. That way it's easier to skip. But overall, this is a fine album. I don't think you'd be disappointed buying it. So go buy it, okay? Yeah. And that's the end.